Hey guys, happy Monday. Welcome to another vlog. I just finished doing my makeup and I'm about to film. The lighting is so weird here. Like I'm filming in front of my window or just vlogging in front of my window. But um, I am just about to uh, film a Shein try on haul video, which will be up on Wednesday on my channel. And then I honestly have like, I have like four different videos I need to film right now. Um, just from taking a break um, with the mini vacation we went on, it just kind of put me behind, but I'm okay with it because I'm just gonna get really, really busy this week. So yeah, pretty much that's what I'm doing. I just had peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch. I just did not want to like spend time in the kitchen. Whenever I'm on a roll with like um, filming and stuff, I just don't want to take the time to like make something, which is not necessarily good, but it's also Bachelor Monday. So I'm really excited to watch that tonight. Hopefully it's not as cringy as last episode because it was so cringe last week. Oh, like I just, I could not with that, with that episode and the... Uh... Harvey's just eating his food, if you can hear him crunching in the back. So I'm gonna get to filming, just finish up, finish setting up all my lighting and stuff, and then I will uh, chat with you guys later. I just had to document this, just in case I decide to go through with this. I'm about to do the most spontaneous thing I've ever done in my life, and that is to buy a puppy on a whim. I know we have a dog, but Steve and I have been wanting to get a second one anyway uh, for Harvey, and we just adore Harvey so much and we really want to give him the best and um, we know how he, great he would be with another dog he's so good with dogs anyway so we Steve and I have always wanted a doodle mix like a labradoodle or a golden doodle and there is one puppy left and I'm about seven minutes away he is so adorable I just I cannot wait to see him in person and I know that Stephen like really really wants this kind of dog and our three-year wedding anniversary is in a few days like how perfect would it be if I instantly fall in love and I just feel chemistry with this puppy and I'm just like absolutely yes so just in case I decide to go through with this and I take him home I want you guys to witness this because he's gonna freak out and the crazy thing is is he's in Calgary right now until Thursday he has to do some stuff up there so it's gonna be absolutely nuts if I surprise him with this dog. Anyway, so I'm gonna drive and uh, let you guys know if I decide to uh, take him. I did it, in case you're wondering, and I'm not even sorry. I think we're gonna call you Winston. Winston, hello baby. Oh, look at him, are you kidding? Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Sweetie, Steven's gonna be so surprised. I'm really excited to uh, give him this pup as a gift on Thursday. Hi, Snuggy Snugs. They're literally in each other's faces now. <laughs> oh no. Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day. This is currently what we're doing, is napping with the little puppuccino, just, you know, sitting on my, I mean, laying on my chest. Um, I got a lot of work done today. I cleared out my emails, responded to so, so many emails, and I filmed a video, two videos yesterday, and I edited one yesterday, and I edited one today, so I got that done, uploaded it, um, and then submitted them to the company for approval. So there should be, um, there's gonna be a video up on my channel tomorrow, a Shein video, but um, this is the second one. Try not to talk too loud because uh, I don't wanna wake him, but yeah, so I've been doing that and I made an Instagram feed post. Yeah, so just uh, kind of getting caught up. I still got some emails I need to respond to, but I'm so hungry. Um, all I had today was apple pie and a sandwich way earlier and I, my stomach is growling so I'm gonna go try to find something to eat. We've got Winston sleeping here and then Harvey, what are you doing? <laughs> I just got a package in. I'm really, really excited to open this. Um, this is from a bag seller that sells designer um, dupes, like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, things like that. And I've actually never um, had a knockoff or any kind of designer bag at all. So I'm just really excited to like open this up because 
why not? All right, so first thing, it's got these Louis Vuitton ribbons in it. And then some, I guess, certificates that come with it. There's two bags, I believe, in here. And it comes, yeah, these are the actual official, I guess, certificates for it. Um, like XL certificates and it's got like a bunch of different things in here like little papers and just Louis Vuitton little codes that I don't quite understand so it comes with two of them because there's two bags in here and then it comes with this box so an actual like official box I love when they like I see a lot of people getting like DH gate bags, but a lot of them aren't like high quality. And when you get them, I guess, from a seller that sells them like an Instagram seller, normally they're all like really good quality bags because you know exactly what you're getting when you get them. So I'm excited to get into it. This is a Louis Vuitton box. And let's see what the first one is. Okay. So it comes in a duster bag, which I appreciate. Louis Vuitton duster bag. And then we've got this here, covered in a little bit of plastic here. And then the little bags, I guess, are inside. So this is the kind I think you have to like assemble in a way. It's that cross body, sorry. The cross body one that um, has the diff different components to it. I'm gonna have to figure out how to assemble it and show you guys because it goes like that and then this is the strap. So this is the part that I haven't opened yet. So let's just see the strap. So excited. So that's the strap, it's like a dark green. And then, my gosh, like just the, um, like the quality on this is kind of mind blowing. Like, I didn't have, like, any expectations, really. Like, I just assumed it would be nice. But I didn't know, like, how nice. Like, that's the detail on it. And this, like, swivels. And then it completely says Louis Vuitton everywhere. And then it's got all the gold detail here on the side. And the same over here. I'm very impressed with how, le like, legit this feels. Um, and then I think you just attach these. I gotta remove the plastic from this one, too. I'll show you guys it when I assemble it. All right, so I assembled the entire bag and I'm mind blown by the quality. Like, I can't even tell the difference. I try to look up the original one and I can't see a difference. I know people that would specialize in it and people that know the LV brand would be able to tell the difference. But for me, absolutely not. It's got this gorgeous gold chain. So this is pretty much what it looks like. It's hard to show on camera because like, I wanna give you guys the full effect um, of what it looks like. So I had to look up a photo on how to assemble it. The coin purse goes right up there. And then this absolutely gorgeous green strap, like it looks exactly like the real thing. Like, I don't even see a difference. And just absolutely stunning. Like look at that guys, look at that embroidery and just the detail. Like I'm so excited to style this. I don't think you guys can see what it looks like on me, but just stunning in this coin purse. I feel like I'd wanna wear it this way yeah so that the coin purse yeah then that's how you're supposed to wear it so the coin purse is like right up there and then you can adjust the strap i have it i think maybe a little bit too long but it just is so stunningly gorgeous like i definitely recommend this seller if you're looking for a bag because this is beautiful thank you so much so this one also comes in a louis vuitton duster with these drawstrings this bag itself is like so nice I feel like I'm gonna use that for I don't know what but definitely something okay and then we've got this one here so this is called the is it the pochette or something like that it's probably like the most popular bag that I see everywhere and this looks absolutely stunning so so beautiful one thing I noticed is that this is upside down I don't know if it's like that in the original the front is the right way but I don't know if it's upside down in the original bag. I'd have to look into that. And let me remove all of the packaging and show you guys. All right, so I took all the plastic and attached the strap to it. Oh my goodness. Like, look at the detail on that. 
every single thing was wrapped in plastic, like every tiny little thing. It took me forever to take it all off, but it protects it all. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. Just absolutely stunning. And then it's got this zipper in the back, like a zipper. And then I'll show you, so then you just press these ones here and it just has a brown inside and it's like completely felt. It just feels gorgeous. And then it has the little logo inside too. Just, I just am speechless. I never thought they would be this perfect. I get the hype now. I get the hype guys. Good morning guys. I am just having some cereal right now. I need to add some more milk to this. Um, both of my dogs slept nine hours. Winston, I think, hopefully Steven's okay with naming him that. I don't know, I guess we'll find out tomorrow when he gets home. <laughs> um, he's been so good with like sleeping. He just has to be house trained. So I'm excited. I don't think I mentioned that he's a Labradoodle. I don't know if I said that. Um, so he's pretty much hypoallergenic. He's like a hypoallergenic breed that he doesn't shed a lot. Like Harvey sheds a decent amount, but um, Winston's probably gonna hardly shed. So. And it's so funny. They're best friends, where one of them is, they're pretty much both. And I just am like, I get to refer to them as my boys. I'm like, how are my boys doing? Settle down, boys, you know? <laughs> It's the vacuum, the robot vacuum, in case you guys are wondering what that noise is in the back. Mm. I am going to spend the entire day cleaning the house. I don't have that much to do, but I'm going to like find things to clean in the house because I'm kind of in a mood to just like clean stuff and get rid of stuff or whatever it is I need to do, clean the kitchen a bit because I've sort of been slacking off just with having a new puppy here. I mean, it's kind of a given. So I'm just going to eat my cereal and hang out with the pups a little bit, and then I'm going to get to cleaning. All right, good afternoon, guys. It's like almost 5 p.m. now. I got all my cleaning done. I'm feeling so good. Now I'm just having some apple pie and ice cream. Oh, and I uh, forgot to put the whipped cream on. Yeah. Stephen bought an apple pie before you left. Um, I totally forgot to mention, it's my three year wedding anniversary today. And uh, Stephen gave me all of the, he spoiled me, honestly. He bought me so much amazing stuff. I'm gonna show you guys my top three gifts that he got me that are my favorite. But um, and he gave them to me before he left because we're gonna, so we already celebrated our wedding anniversary because we knew, we knew he'd be gone because um, we went away to Calgary. But, um, we, you know, it's still, today is the day. So we were still like, saying each other cute messages and I made an Instagram post and all this stuff, but he gave me these gifts before he left and his still hasn't even come in that I got for him. But I'll show you guys like my top three um, favorites that he got me. Honestly, he's so thoughtful. We didn't talk about like even getting each other gifts. It just, when he gave me gifts, I'm like, oh, I actually did, I'm getting you something too, but it's in the mail, so. Mm. Apple pie is so good with ice cream and cream. Okay, anyway, so. I've always wanted a like bar set and this one is absolutely gorgeous so the whole thing is rose gold and it comes with everything like a shaker, an opener, um, something you grab like stuff with like little tongs, two of these to put inside bottles and this here is like a, I think it's called like a muddle or something where you like, I don't know exactly and then obviously a like shot glass so like to measure a stir spoon and then when you shake it like a strainer so i just thought this was the most thoughtful gift because i can't believe you remembered that i wanted one of these i talked about it forever ago my phone just stopped recording for some reason but to go with that he bought me a bunch of like mixers um because i am such a big fan of cocktails especially like gin cocktails and i love to have all the bitters and all that stuff so he bought me a bunch of things for that but the thing that really stood out to me is he got me a bottle of my favorite gin which is the empress gin this gin is I've just never had a different kind that I like more. It's so smooth and amazing. And it actually comes from Vancouver, I believe. Victoria, BC. So in, in Canada. And it is, 
I'm telling you, if you're gin drinkers and you have not tried this, you're missing out. It is so beautiful, first of all, when you use it. It changes colors according to the citrus you put in it. So if you put like lime and lemon, it turns more like purple and it's just really cool. So um, he got me this. And then the other thing that he got me that really stood out, there was some other smaller things, um, but I didn't want to show you guys like all the things he got me. I just figured I'd pick my three top favorites and he got me a hat. And this one is from Brixton. Um, it's called the Joe Straw Rancher um, in the color natural. And I'm obsessed with hats. You guys see these in my, you guys see the, uh, like wall hat hat wall area that i have in my videos all the time but um so he got me this hat to like add to my collection and i don't have any straw hats like this so i was just like i'm feeling it i'm really excited to wear it and like style it with like you know certain types of outfits i just think this is the most beautiful hat ever so he's such a sweetheart he always outdoes me i bought him one thing and I tell him, I'm like, you do realize that I do not even need, like, I don't need gifts to feel special. I'm not really that type of girl. I'd rather have him like, hey, I made a dinner reservation or like, hey, I planned out an evening for us. Those are things that like, that's my love language, but his is giving gifts. So I just try to like somewhat respect it and be like, you know what? Is he finds it really, really exciting to shop for me and buy me stuff. And for a long time, I tried to be, like stop him to, from doing that and like take it away from him. But then I realized like it means a lot to him to be able to do that. So I'm like, whatever, as long as it's stuff I like, just don't go like nuts. But he goes nuts every time. But yeah, he's such a sweetie. So those are my two, my three top faves that he got me for our three year anniversary. And I got him this like um floating, like, I don't know when it comes to him to show you guys because it's an ad I seen. Because Steven, honestly, if he needs something, he just buys it. If I get him gifts, it's like really random because there's he's impossible to shop for. Mm. Anyway, look, the ice cream got all melty. And it's just like, can you taste this through the camera? Because you should be able to. Anyway, now that I finished my cleaning, I'm going to go watch some Gilmore Girls. So since Steven couldn't be home for dinner today, he got dinner dropped off for me and I don't know what it is, but I'm excited to see the food that just got dropped off. Why do I feel like this is gonna be like the most extravagant dinner, knowing him? <gasps> Aaron Chini balls, one of my favorites. I could just tell from the, let me open this. Oh my gosh. That smells amazing. Aaron Chini balls. We've got, I think it's bruschetta of some sort. There's like, I don't know exactly, but it is, um, I can't remember the name of this. And there's brie cheese and they're like toasted crostinis. And this is a lot of food. <laughs> um, mussels. Oh my gosh, I love mussels. Oh my gosh, I love mussels so much. And there's two things of bread on here. And then there's a little bag here, which I'm guessing maybe is dessert or something. Nope, it is cheese and, I think it's cheese. These look really good. Something wrapped in meat with like basil on it. I'm about to, get into all this food probably like a quarter of it this is so much this is totally a dinner for two but obviously he couldn't be here and also he doesn't like mussels so i'm sure he got that just because of me but i'm gonna eat dinner the dogs are literally like playing they love each other um good morning happy thursday today's the best day ever because steven gets home and i get to surprise him with a puppy I, same thing as yesterday, cereal. I did not think that I would be able to keep it from him. I figured I would like, when he called me, I'd be like, so I did a thing or like, so I'm so excited to tell you something like that. But I'm so proud of myself because he has zero idea at all. Mm -mm. Wednesday, 
Winston. It's okay, baby. <laughs> Look, Winston. <gasps> Winston. Okay, you go back to playing now. Harvey. Harvey's so aggressive with him, but I think he likes it for the most part. Mm, mm, mm. Anyway, I need to stop eating so I can just talk to you guys. I, uh, because it's funny. He knew about this puppy, but he thought it was gone, but I'm the one who bought it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you didn't like immediately like send them money when you saw it. He's like, I sent you the ad. And I was like, okay, but then you like went to bed and I didn't hear from you. So I didn't know if you wanted him or not. Even though like I knew he wanted him. He didn't even have to tell me it's like the perfect breed for us. And, um, and over the next two days, yeah, I'm just kind of like, oh, I wish we had gotten him or whatever. And she's like, oh, too bad. So now he's gonna come home and he's gonna be like, what? You are the one who bought the dog. <laughs> I'm so excited. Anyway, I'm gonna go eat this and uh, what else am I doing today? So, I uh, have a little bit of cleaning I wanna do. And uh, I have some content and video planning I need to do and organize to know when I'm gonna film and upload everything. So I'm gonna go do that. Just currently doing some shopping and I've just got my two boys sleeping and the vacuum's going and I finished all the cleaning. Hi. <laughs> Steven, how surprised were you when you walked through that door? This is not what I was expecting. Well, honestly, what were your thoughts? I don't know. I can't even. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. Steven is speechless at the fact that this is his gift. Hi. Yeah, Hello, baby. Dude. <laughs> I was so jealous. Oh, don't do it. <laughs> well, hey, be nice. Hey, guys. Happy Friday. I think it's Friday. Yeah, it's Friday. Um, sorry I didn't at all vlog today during the day. I was, I didn't really do much. I just, like, obviously, like, washed my hair. That's why it's looking so flat. I'm going to style it tomorrow and hopefully get some filming done tomorrow. But I just spent time with Harvey and Winston. I tried to uh, house train Winston a little bit. And Harvey is loving having somebody else, like, in the um, apartment. As of right now, they, like, get along. So I'm really hoping it stays that way because nothing would be worse than, like, your dog's not getting along and you having to rehome, like, the recent dog you get or something like that. Like, imagine that. That'd be horrible. That was my biggest fear. But... Fingers crossed, everything is good, and they get along. So far, it's good. Um, we are just at Bar Burrito right now. Steven just ran in. I'm just getting a burrito bowl, and he's getting a burrito, and then we're going to go home. I went to the mall to do uh, to pick up something that I got from American Eagle. Hello, baby. Listen. No, no, no. You don't more whining, okay? It's not okay. You're seven months old now. You're seven months. You cannot be whining. So I went to do a return, but then also pick up something at American Eagle because I placed an order online, but I did in-store pickup of these two uh, bras that I'm going to show you guys if I can, if he's going to let me. They are like lounge bras. Um, Harvey. And I also got, um, Steve and I love Purdy's chocolate. Like, and we got, I got like all of our favorites in there, but let me see if I can show you. So I got these two bralettes, um, and I'll try to link them down below. They are supposed to be amazing. Um, they've got these zip up and you can actually wear them as shirts because they come a little bit long. So I got it in that color. And then I also got it in this tan color. If I like them, I think I'm going to get every single color. I am just really, really excited to try these. I've heard great things. So I picked up those two because they were on sale for like 17 bucks each, which is absolutely insane for American Eagles. So that's what I went and picked up. And now we're just going to get food and head home and just hang out and probably watch a movie because... Um, really excited to just spend some quality time with the pups and with Steven because him and I have not been able to spend that much time together this week just because he's been like training guys up in Calgary and all this responsibility stuff that he's got going on so look at you you're being so good today so good today so it's like 10 o'clock but I know I'm gonna be up for a few more hours so I decided um since Steven's going to bed I'm gonna have a little bit of a probably put on a face mask Put on the movie Letters to Juliet because I haven't seen it in forever. And I opened up a bottle of wine. This is the Santa Margarita Pinot Grigio. I prefer a Sauvignon Blanc by far. I don't drink a lot of white. And if I do, it's that one. But Stephen bought this. So I decided to try it. And I didn't chill it. So I had to put an ice cube in it. So here we are. And I'm eating my favorite snack. The 
white cheddar popcorn is because they are elite. So that's what I'm doing. And then the two pups are probably just gonna hang out with me on the couch and that's kind of how I'm ending my night. It's been a good day. Mm. Yeah, that's not bad. Hey guys, I just finished filming. I'm just in the process of removing all my jewelry and stuff. I'm always like wanting to get into comfy clothes immediately after I'm done filming. I just filmed on a try and haul, which will be up for you guys on Wednesday. And um, yeah, the weather got really crappy outside, unfortunately. Like it's like really dark and I think it's supposed to thunderstorm. See, as you check the radar and it's supposed to be like crazy. But um, the two pups are just hanging out with Stephen while he's watching a movie during I was filming. Sorry, my lighting is so weird. There's a lot of shadows and then I'm in front of a ring light. So it's not a good mix. That's why it looks kind of weird. If you don't know, don't ever film with a ring light if it's like shadowy. It makes you look weird. Not my ring light anyway. Maybe if I had one that wasn't so harsh. I don't know, I need to get some new lighting equipment. But yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing. And now I think I'm gonna go have some wine and do some editing because I wanna get this uploaded. Kinda spend some time with Steven, hopefully. Um, I don't have a lot of work left to do. Just a little bit editing because I'm not gonna edit this video till like Monday or something. So yeah. I'm just excited to spend some time with him, drink some wine, maybe order some pizza, watch a movie, because it's gloomy outside, so it's not like we're going anywhere. I ordered bubble tea. <laughs> you got bubble tea in a bag. <laughs> we also got um, a bunch of food. Good morning, guys. I honestly just woke up. Steve woke me up. We have breakfast in bed. So I'm literally sitting in bed about to eat so I look like so sleepy this is what I look like when I wake up I made iced coffee and my favorite breakfast sandwich like a BLT one. Oh my gosh my favorite and hello baby Steven's giving Winston a bath because he's been so dirty because he's outside as a puppy <laughs> Javi, you can't go out there. You just rile him up. Such cuties. <laughs> it's gonna be a struggle. I decided to put on makeup because I had to put get some work done and shoot some photos for a post that has to be up tomorrow or Tuesday on my Instagram. So I had to send those over for approval. So I had to do my makeup and I'm so mad about it because I wanted an entire day of just skincare, but it is what it is. So I'm about to make myself a martini and um, I'm going to actually show you guys how I make it because it's my favorite. I don't know if I've ever done this before on my vlog. I can't remember probably, but it's my favorite gin martini. So I'm going to show you guys how I make it. And Steven is outside grilling right now. We're just kind of, you know, having a chill evening i'm really excited and we're probably gonna watch some netflix afterwards and the boys have been so good today honestly they're both just relaxing i feel like i don't even have dogs just low-key chilling you know but i'm assuming it's probably gonna get a little bit more difficult but we've already started training um winston and he's so good like he's using the bathroom where he's supposed to he obviously still has accidents but definitely impressed um yeah so that's pretty much what we're doing so i'm gonna go make a cocktail and i will show you guys how i make it so first I put ice in here, just two big chunks of ice. And then I take my favorite gin, which is this gin, the Empress gin. And I take one and a half ounces of this. Hope that that's all in camera for you guys. So we got one and this is half an ounce on this side. So convenient, 0.5. There you go. And then the next thing I do is I grab this. This is the Soho lychee liqueur. Honestly, I love the lychee flavor and I put 0.5, um, like half an ounce in here. But I'm gonna do a slightly more than half ounce. I almost did an ounce. Oops, sorry, no, sorry. So I'm just gonna put half an ounce of simple syrup right in there. I don't like too much simple syrup. Um, I didn't even do a completely half an ounce because I like it a little bit more tart then sweet and then i'm going to take an entire lemon and i rolled it so it's really juicy i'm going to squeeze this whole thing into here just like that and then the other half there you go 
this on and I'm going to shake it. I'm going to grab my chilled martini glass. Normally I chill it with ice so it doesn't fog up, but this is how I'm doing it today. And going to strain this into here. These martini glasses are a bit big, but this is a regular, I think a regular size martini. And then you can either put this on the rim or float it up top. But that is my favorite martini made with Empress Gin and lychee liqueur, and it is just so, so, so good. Steven's just out here grilling. We got some asparagus steaks and shrimp skewers, and we also have some potatoes that need to go on too. Hi. Hi. It looks amazing. I am so, so excited. I'm so full, we just finished eating dinner. Steven is honestly a chef, he's so, so good at cooking. I put it on my Instagram story and everyone's like, dude, is he an actual chef? I was like, no, it just looks like it, but um, he's so, so good with food. So we just finished eating and I obviously had my cocktail and I'm just feeling nice and chill. The boys have been so good, by the boys, I mean my dogs. Um, we've already started training Winston and he's going to the bathroom where he's supposed to. He's so good, just chilling, playing with his toys. Um, definitely gonna be a lot easier to train than Harvey was and Harvey's still in training because he's only seven months, but but um, obviously it is an easy breed to train when it comes to uh, Winston, but it is what it is. So yeah, it's just been such a good day overall. Everything's kind of been going as planned and yeah, I'm pretty much just going to go and edit this vlog and hang out with Steven a bit, but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.